Let's just get straight into this one today because this might just blow your mind. Now don't just see right left kick and think, oh, I know that and click off. Watch this video right through because I promise it'll be worth it. We will not just be talking about a set group of notes. We'll be talking about patterns which can get you playing almost infinite fills. You will know exactly how to do that by the end. Stay with me. So yes, pattern one is right left kick. And to make sure we fully understand what's going on here, we'll play it in 16th notes. Now, as right left kick is a group of three, we'll play it five times to take us to a total of 15 notes. Five times three is 15. To finish off the bar and get us to 16 notes, we'll just add a right onto the end of it. This will mean you'll be crashing with the left. I'll demonstrate that for you now at 70 BPM. Great, so now you know how pattern one, right left kick, fits into a bar of 4-4 four, four, playing 16th notes when we don't go over the bar line. Let's look at pattern two. Again, all on the snare drum, let's just play the five right left, right left kick three times to take us to a total of 15 notes. Five times three is 15. And like before, we'll add a right onto the end of it to take us to 16. It's good to get yourself comfortable playing the crash with the left hand, so that's why we're adding a right onto the end. But please do explore adding a left as well. Great, so these are the core patterns we'll be working with today, but I've got another nugget for you shortly, so stay tuned for that. The cool thing about working with fives and threes is that with a little imagination, we can combine these two patterns to make some killer fills and combinations. With two fives, we've got 10 notes. If we add two threes onto that, ta -da! 16 notes. This means just mucking around with these two patterns alone can create countless fills. You could play three, three, five, five. You could play five, five, three, three. You could play three, five, three, five, or even five, three, five, three. I'll play these for you now so you can go ahead and explore the most common options. I'll play around a little with the orchestration, but where you put these things on the kit is what differentiates you from everybody else who learns this. So please explore. Spend a decent amount of time playing with the orchestration and I guarantee you'll come up with some cool things. I'll play each one twice, so if you need more time to hear what's going on, just jump back and watch this section again. Okay, so now you've got two killer linear patterns to play with. The three, right, left kick, and the five, right, left, right, left kick. Imagine the possibilities if we were to flip the subdivision here to 30 second notes. 
Think of all the combinations of fives and threes we can use to get to 32 notes rather than 16. I won't go through all the options here because we'll be here all day, but I strongly encourage you to explore some options. Leave a comment if you'd like to see some examples of the threes and fives in the 30 second note subdivision, but until then, pattern three. This pattern is more common and you've probably seen it before. I mean, I've even taught it as a warm up before, but it's a great tool to have in your fill arsenal too. I'll play it a few slow so you can see what's going on and then we'll really start to create some magic. Stay tuned. The eight here can be pretty useful because if you play that twice, you've already got 16 notes. So to get up to 32, you'd only need to think about adding one combo of fives and threes to equal 16. For example, with pattern three, so the eight, right, left, right, left, right, left, kick, kick. If you played that twice for the first 16 notes and then added three, five, three, five, boom, you'd be at 32. <laughs> to be a total fill boss though, you don't even need to play them as you've learned them in the exercise fashion to get to 32. You can split up the order to create some super cool options. This is a big part of how drummers that play a bunch of amazing things in a row make it really hard to follow what's going on because as soon as they've played one idea, they're on to the next. And before you know it, you missed it and you feel like you can't work it out or you'll never be able to replicate what they did. I'll fix that for you here. Let's just play three five at the beginning. So right, left kick, right, left, right, left kick. So one half of our combo of 16, eight notes. Then we'll play pattern three, the eight. Right, left, right, left, right, left, kick, kick, twice. So all that's left over is another half of threes and fives, and this will take us to 32. To make things not too mental, and so it's easy to follow, I'll just play the same group, three, five, right, left, kick, right, left, right, left, kick, again, to finish off the pattern. So let's just go over that again so we fully get it. Three plus five equals eight. The first eight notes of our 30 second note pattern will be built using that. The three, right, left kick, and the five, right, left, right, left kick. Then we'll play pattern three, right, left, right, left, right, left kick, kick twice. This is taking us to a total of 24 notes so far. Then to finish off the pattern, we'll play the same three and five as the first eight notes. Right, left kick, right, left, right, left kick to take us to 32. Got it? Okay, I'll play this for you slowly four times so you can see it. So now you can see how using these three linear patterns has created countless, literally countless options for you in 30 second note fills and in solo ideas. Think of all the options you could do here to change this up. There are a lot. For now, I'll play this one for you at goal tempo so you can see how it sounds up to speed, but really sit down with these. Grab the PDF in the description and get practicing because you will come up with some awesome options and be drumming like you never have before.